I wanted to talk about the idea of music and coffee actually being intertwined in a way. There's, there's something there, there's a bond there between music and coffee, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I found a cool little moment in history that kind of exemplifies that. So coffee, despite its glory and greatness, actually has been banned or suppressed multiple times in history, including the late 17th century, Charles II, King of England, tries to ban coffee in coffee houses. Although the ban didn't last, it wasn't too long after that that Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, wrote the Coffee Cantata, which is this comedic little mini opera that, that pokes fun at the idea of prohibiting coffee. You can't take away coffee from me. Yeah, the, the, the cantata praises coffee as well, of course. You know, there's a lyric in there that's like, ah, how, ah, how sweet, ah, how sweet the taste of coffee. More delicious than a thousand kisses. People think that like coffee gives you bad breath or whatever. Apparently Bach was more like, no, I no, want that. I want that, I want that coffee kiss. Yeah. Bach wanted that coffee kiss. Bach writes the coffee cantata. He performed it with an ensemble at a coffee house in Leipzig, Germany. The Zimmermann Cafe. In fact, Bach was the music director of that coffee house for over a decade. So this is what I think is awesome. You have the Zimmermann Cafe hosting performances at no cost to the musicians to rent the space, free to the public. They make all their expenses back from selling coffee. Everybody's drinking coffee and Johann Sebastian Bach, arguably the most celebrated composer of Western music history, is the music director for more than 10 years, creating this rock and roll coffee scene in the 1730s. That's insane. It's awesome. It would be George Martin directing a jazz trio at Dark Matter Coffee on Chicago Avenue. I would go see that. I would definitely go see that. <laughs> so if you're just starting out playing maybe and you got some coffee house gigs, you might think like, oh, this is just like a cafe gig, but you know, that, that might allow you to be in, in just the right spot to play a part in the history of music.